Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, welcome. Today we're going to be playing and trying out the new Coven Syndra skin, and we have a lot to talk about with this one, just like we did with the Nami video, because guys, the Syndra mains and the Nami mains are literally at war fighting as we speak, because the Nami mains think that they deserve the legendary skin and they got one, and the Syndra mains think that they deserve the legendary skin and they didn't get one. But at least they got a 1350 skin. I'm going to be talking about everything about the skin, all of my opinions, and all that kind of stuff. And I want to remind you guys that if you do like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps with my channel. And if you would like to subscribe too, I'm really trying to hit 60,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I've kind of stayed dormant at 50,000 for a while because I haven't really been posting that many videos. So if you'd like to subscribe, click that button down below right there with your Syndra Q finger. And uh, yeah, if you would like to unsubscribe at any moment too, that's free too. You can always change your mind. And let's get into it. So I'm kind of more team Syndra in the sense that I think that Syndra fit this skin line so well. And I think that it would have been such a good opportunity to give her a legendary skin, especially since the last mage legendary skin we got was in like 2020 with Spear Blossom Ari, where we got quite a lot of already enchanter legendaries. Not that the Nami one looks bad. Uh, if you saw my video on it, you'll know I loved it a lot. But I still think it would have been a cool opportunity to give Syndra one. And a lot of Syndra mains are rightfully, I think as well, kind of upset with this skin. Not only because it's 1350, but it's missing slash not in a satisfactory way that they would really uh, like. Uh, for example, in my opinion, I think the design is a bit basic. I think that she kind of looks like AI generated coven skin. And it's interesting how they decided to go with red hair versus the platinum blonde hair that they normally go with coven skins. And my reasoning, I think, for that is that they were really trying to channel the Scarlet Witch vibes with this skin. And I think they did a pretty good job at that. I'm not too upset about the red hair. I think, I don't know, I'm kind of like a sucker for red hair skins in game. I think that they look so cool. So I don't really mind the red hair, but I do understand maybe some criticisms that it kind of strays away from the other coven skins. Now, to say a good thing about the skin, though, at least in my opinion, I know some of y'all are going to say it's like a bad thing. I really like the orbs in this skin. I don't know what they are. They look like biblically accurate dark angels, but or like crushed up ravens in a sphere that like kind of wiggle around. But I like it. It's weird. It moves. It's feathery. And I think that's probably... Oh, God. That's not probably... That is embarrassing. But I think that's probably my favorite thing about this skin is just the orbs look so funny. It's so weird. And I am here for them. So as for sound effects, it's definitely more of a sharper feeling skin, I think, when it comes to her, her autos. It kind of sounds like... Oh, whoa. Hello, Graves. I could definitely have stunned you there, but I don't think we kill, so I'd rather save my stun until maybe, like, now. Oh, nice. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> okay, worth. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So, the auto attacks on this skin kind of feel like hollow energy balls. Um, they sound fine. I'm not too, like, super impressed with the sound effects for the auto attacks, but they sound fine enough. I don't dislike them at all. And one of the things that I also like about this skin sound effect wise is the fact that a crow squawks whenever you press your E button, which I'll show you guys again when I cast my E again. And guys, I'm stopping this recall just so I can comment on it. But you summon a portal of ravens, they like infect you and give you a raven wing, and then you summon an even bigger wing. And you kind of wrap up in it and you come back to base. I think that is such a cool recall animation. I think they did an amazing job with it just conceptually as well as execution wise. I think that that's such a redeeming quality of this skin. It's just a sick recall. I love it a lot. I think it's good job, Rito Games. Uh, her splash art too, it looks pretty cool. I am kind of just whelmed with the splash art. I don't think it's like the best Coven one or even the best Syndra splash art in the game currently, but it's nice. Have not really much to say about it. She looks threatening, I guess, and pretty cool. Sindra, you kind of going... Not Sindra, Zoe, you kind of going crazy over here. Thankfully, I dodged that bubble. Uh, another thing that I am noticing with the Syndra skin that I really uh, do enjoy and appreciate is the fact that she does have unique VFX for her indicators. So if you're going to see here when I cast my W, this outer rank looks coveny. And the same goes for my Q indicator. So you see this arrow right here when my E's off cooldown? 
that actually changes colors in i think almost every Syndra skin to kind of match the thematic so this one has like a deep red color and i like those little details that riots added to the skin for sure and i don't think i've mentioned it yet but these skins are going to have or this skin as well as the other coven skins are going to have a border as well as icons that you can obtain through the world's 2020 three event which should be starting on October 11th at 4 p.m eastern time so mark your calendars for then that's when these skins should be dropping so just some of that information if you guys wanted to know that the Q sound effect is okay nothing really remarkable it sounds a little spooky it sounds definitely coveny I definitely think VFX wise just the Qs are the star of the show looking so weird and the W, let's go check it out here. You get like a, a impact circle of those coven flowers that seem to or be apparent in a lot of the other coven skins. Um, it's just one of the tropes of this skin line. They have to have those dang flowers in them at some point. And I don't think my ult would kill her right there, even with Ignite. I need like a little bit more poke. My ult does not do that much damage, Frank one. Especially if I don't have like two orbs out. I'm just going to go for the kill on her here. I don't care. I, I don't care, guys. She was dying. I think I would have died had I not done that. Well, regardless, I would have died. So, unfortunately, guys, the death animation doesn't have anything unique to it. I really wish that they would have went the extra mile when it came to that or the home guard animation. Both of those don't look any different than Syndra's other skins. I think that they could have done something cool where she, like, turned into a bunch of crows when she died or something like that. But they didn't do that which is fine. I guess not every 1350 have it, but the fact that she doesn't have a voice filter, she doesn't have a um, a death animation that's unique, and she doesn't have a home guard animation, it kind of makes me uh, bring the skin a few points down, in my opinion. I think that there's, or not that I think, there's a lot of skins that Riot does go the extra mile with when it comes to the, uh, um, you know, the 1350 kind of extra little features. This one does not do that. So the particle effects do change as well as do other Syndra skins when you get your passive stacks and upgrade the abilities. So hopefully the game doesn't end and we can check those out um, and see them here together. So I should be getting this next one for my first upgrade in one splinter. So goodbye, Zoe. Cool. Okay, goodbye, Zoe. Just in the nick of time, Graves is there too. I feel like Graves is always just like in the bush, lurking menacingly. Throw my feather balls at them. And here, guys, I'm gonna let you hear this squawk. Listen to this. Guys, why didn't I hear it? <laughs> why didn't I hear it? My E is supposed to always have like a bird sound to it. Hold on, we're gonna have to do that again in, in a moment. When it's off cooldown. Guys, I don't hear the squawking. Do you hear it? Am I going crazy? Let me know in the comments because I think it's supposed to do like a... <gasps> that was actually kind of good. I think that it's supposed to do that. Hold on. Let me try not pressing Q. I think I heard it there. I think it's kind of subtle, but you do hear a <gasps> noise in that E. And as for the extra particles, now that I have my passive stack for my Q, the impact of particle effects do look a bit fancier than before you max it. And I believe they have like a red glow to them that they didn't have before. I have to, when I'm editing this video, like take a look and kind of try to see what the difference between the pre 40 stack and post 40 stack Qs look like. Uh, so let me know in the comments if they do look more different than what I'm saying. Definitely killer here if I land. Like this. Goodbye, Zoe. So the ult just sounds like you're just throwing a bunch of feathers at them, like a lot of feathers at them in the face. Hello, Graves. Graves, are you really doing this? Actually, guys, hold on. I think he's he's made his last misstep here. Oh no. Oh no, guys. I'm messing it up. Oh no. She's so ulting me. I hate to see it. The Nami mains really won right there with that kill. You know what that means? That means that I am most definitely going to be having to ult this Nami a few times this game. You know, for the Syndra main sake. 
she can't get the last laugh. That's not what's happening today. Oh, thank God for the orange. Thank God for the oranges. Okay, so I'm pretty fed at this point. Zoe is like almost half my CS and I have four kills and I'm up a level. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think I could have killed Graves there. Like in another life, he died and I didn't die there. But not this life. In this life, Nami killed me and embarrassed me. Unlucky. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on this skin that I want to mention. Um, oh, yes. So her hair doesn't have any physics to it. Um, how could I forget? Yeah, so um, I know someone might be saying, oh, but Eric, actually, none of Sindra's skins have hair physics, but that's not true. Her Spear Blossom skin, for some reason, is the only one of her 1350 skins that actually have some sort of physics on the hair. Okay, just leave me alone. And actually, for that, your word's getting broken, too. So, enjoy. Thanks for the gold. Yeah, so the hair doesn't have physics on this skin, which honestly makes me kind of feel like it wasn't even made this year. Like, if they released this skin in 2018, someone told me that, like, if they released it in the original Coven batch, I would have believed them. Like, it doesn't look that impressive, I think, from, like, a technical standpoint. Um, so I just kind of want to touch upon that, too. I think it could just be because Syndra has such an old model and whatnot, but, you know, it's still something that I did think when looking at this skin. Oh, I thought my Q had like an, an extra sound effect. That's just Briar ulting from across the map. That's not my sound effect, silly. Okay. And now I have my W upgrade too, which is very cool. Hello, Shivana. Shivana, you're going to walk right into me, are you? No, you're not. You're too smart for that. She is too intelligente. See, if Zoe ults forward, I'm going to kill her. Okay, she can definitely die here if I play my cards right. And if she plays her cards wrong. Let's go drop my ward over here. Oh, hello, Zoe. That should have been her death. I didn't expect her to ult in my face like that. My bad. Zoe, you must die here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't even need to ult. I love whenever I play Syndra and I throw one Q down. Oh my god. Not again, Nami. Not today. Oh my god, please don't say it though. <laughs> Guys, I'm being embarrassed by this Nami. How did I, I think I missed like one of my skills there and that was the difference between me killing her and not killing her. I'm actually, uh, I'm cutting the cameras. Oh, I can't even cut the cameras. The hotkey isn't right. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, so I guess they really are nemesises. It's confirmed this game. At some point, she gots to go. She gots to die. Close to level 11, which will be nice for my ult. Make it deal quite a bit more damage. And at this point, you know, if this was like a ranked game and not a PvE game, I'd probably go bot lane and let my bot lane go mid. But I ain't doing all that in PvE. I'm going mid lane, we're ARMing, and we're killing Nami. Whether I have to die for it or not. I am in control. Hello there, Zoe. Would you happen to be ulting here soon? Okay, we should just get this turret with the Herald here, thankfully. Ow, that was rude, Zoe. I don't poke you with Ignite. Oh, there she is, my nemesis. Is she gonna bubble me here? Is are they are they gonna bubble me here? Is what I should be saying against Nami and, and Zoe. Okay, Caitlyn. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, okay. Yes, quite. Oh my god, she's too good. Okay, well that works for me too. I am fine with that. 
So I do have my W upgrade and that does look a little different. I think it just has more of like an impactive VFX on it and maybe a bit more flowers to it as well once you get it uh, leveled up with your passive. Let's go pay Shivana a visit for what she did to the mid lane. I never forget. Let's go and see if we can kill her. She's going to ult. That's the thing with Syndra or Shivana. She can buffer up her ult to block CC. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. It's actually just visual, uh, visual death over here. Oh my god, guys. I'm so embarrassed in this game. I swear, guys, I'm not this bad with Syndra. I have good Syndra games. Ooh, does Briar win this, though? Maybe it... Oh, she's kind of strong, though. Oh, that was such a... Wow, guys. Wowza. Wowza, I'm embarrassed. I should have just ulted her first. Yeah, on Syndra, something you can do, and what I should have done there was just ult Shivana to guarantee the stun on her. She was, like, somehow too skinny. As, like, the skinny dragon, I guess. I can't hit her with my with my abilities. Okay, anyways. Anyways, we gotta figure something out. Now two people are on my, my to kill list. Pretty cool spell effects. Pretty cool. I, I would say that this definitely isn't my favorite Cinder skin. I think that she has ones that have come out with even like the past few years that are just as good as this skin, if not better. For example, I'm like a Star Guardian simp, so I kind of like Star Guardian prestige and non prestige better than this skin but oh hold on who is that caitlin you need to die here i need to pick on someone weaker than me this game because it's obviously not working when i try to pick on someone stronger she just died here okay she's somewhere here oh hi caitlin guys what do we what do we say death to her okay very cool very cool else animation. I was definitely not going to let her embarrass me this time. That would have been like the ultimate embarrassing. Oh, we win this. Oh, look at that damage though. Oh, I believe in the Briary. Ow, is she AP? I don't even know what Shivana skin that is. I'm going to be very honest and serious with you guys. What skin is that? Immortal Journey Shivana. Oh, <laughs> I forgot she got one of those this year. Okay, back to the mid lane I go. Let's see who my next victim will be. Oh, or let's not, because they are going to surrender. Um, okay, guys, well, that was Coven Syndra. I think that the skin is pretty okay overall, maybe a little better than okay. I give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. Nothing too impressive in my opinion with the skin in total, but I don't hate it. I wouldn't, I'll probably wind up getting it, but like that's because I have an unhealthy obsession with skins in this game. Do I think you should get it? If you have a Syndra skin already that you like, nah, you really shouldn't. Do I think she should have got the legendary skin? Yeah, I do. Maybe they both should have got the legendary skin. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, this is the damage graph for this game. And of course, just thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.